this video I'm going to show you how to pick up massive amounts of straw, grass or hay with this setup uh, and even get the workers to do it for you now. What do we have here? We have a couple of uh, mods that I would like to talk about before we get into the demonstration. First of all, the TARDIS, uh, it's get my help windows on here. This is the TARDIS, uh, Lizard TARDIS XL. It's a forge uh, pickup. It has recently been updated to widen the pickup, which is essential for this whole setup to work here. And um, you'll find these, let's just go to the mods. Uh, sorry, mods and DLCs. I got a lot here. I've got them all uh, all downloaded for this demonstration. But here we are. The Lizard TARDIS XL comes with uh, a um, forage harvest, uh, forage pickup wagons or forage wagon trailer and a and a liquid tank. But in this uh, this demonstration, we're using the 200 liter expanded capacity a version with the now four meter pickup which is uh, very important with this now the other two mods we're going to use in this demonstration are the lizard trailed wind rower and the lizard front window wind rower by hispano by the way this is by omatana these wind rowers are by hispano they came out a little while ago and they have some massive wingspan. This one is 120 meters in width. And if we, uh, let's hop in here and uh, let's unfold it, uh, lower it, and lower it, and you will see the, this is the largest of the, um, of them. If we go into our wind rowers, Whoops, not there. There we go. Wind rowers. Here we have them too. This is the front wind rower. As I said, it's 100. Uh, um, so we have 10 meters, 12 meters, 16 meters, 20 meters. Oh, sorry, 200. I said I meant 20 meters spread. The uh, R200 is the 20 meter spread. And if we come back in here, you can see the massive width that this will pick up. And uh, this was a bit of an issue when this uh, first came out because there wasn't any kind of, uh, there wasn't a uh, pickup or a baler or anything that could pick up that much um, material at once. But now we do. Uh, so this is the front wind rower. Let's pick that up and let's scoot on over to our grass field. Now I have a, a tremendous amount of grass uh, laying on this field and we will demonstrate to you how this works and how well it works because it does work quite well and we do now have oh why is it doing that stop that so I have some grass cut over there and I also have a couple of rows of wind rows of grass here um, and this can be used both ways depending on um, your situation of course but as you can see here the width of this easily covers two wind rows of grass if your uh, mower mows in this type of fashion so we're going to turn on that wind rower and as you can see it gathers a tremendous amount of grass in one large wind row but no fear here we turn on our TARDIS XL loading wagon lower the pick up and as we move forward it uh, it very easily picks up all that grass and not leaving anything behind and as you may have noticed I just hired a worker so he's gonna happily go ahead and pick this all up not missing even one little bit of grass going forward in this fantastic fashion here now that um, it's not the only way this can be used or run. This is just one way and the workers um, will react a little bit differently depending on what you're using and what's set up when they go to turn around. However, here we have a somewhat similar setup but using the trailed wind rower with a much larger tractor. 
This is the trailed wind rower, and if the, that is also in the wind rowers here, as you can see, it is a trailed version. And that, of course, is also up to 200, uh, 20 meters in width from, uh, goes from 10.3, 12, 16 to 20. Uh, it does, however, feature a uh, hitch and a PTO that will easily run the TARDIS XL from behind. And if we hop in, uh, lower everything, turn it on, turn on our wind rower. And as we drive forward, as you can see, it too very easily picks up all that grass. And as I hire a worker, there it goes. Worker has been hired and we are not we are no longer losing any grass because the wind row is too large it is easily handling these very massive wind rows and as a bonus your tractor isn't having to um, climb over those big wind rowers that the front wind rower might have created you see this massive amount of grass being collected here at the back and a very easily gobbled up by this TARDIS uh, loading wagon and there you have it folks yeah even big chunks of grass it is uh, picking them up quite readily and um, there you go that's just a little bit of a trick or tip I didn't say shortcut or a way to um, expediate your grass um, or hay I mean it'll work for hay you got hay in a field or hay or say say straw uh, this will work for straw hay or grass equally as well thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now